It's time to start another riot. For today I have from Mattel's WWE Basic Series 98 line. She is currently out of action due to injuring both shoulders. She is the former leader of the Riot Squad. It is Ruby Riot. I'm really excited to review this figure, even though it's a basic. Ruby Riot is my favorite member of the now defunct Riot Squad. And fun fact, I almost got to meet Ruby Riot at WrestleMania 35 Fan Access. I was online to meet her, but I was too late by the time I got to the almost headline. She was replaced and didn't get to meet her. But as a little sort of treat, while I was online, the rest of the Riot Squad, Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan, appeared and talked with Ruby a little bit and left. So that was a treat. So I had to settle with taking a photo in front of a advertisement cutout of the Riot Squad. But before I get Ruby out of the basic packaging, let's take a closer look at her in the basic packaging. Series 98, Ruby Riot. There's a really pretty picture of Ruby. You see her chest tattoo. And here she's in the packaging. And on the back, we see the others you get in the line. The Ultimate Warrior, Elias. Finn Balor, Tony Nese, and of course, Ruby Riot. They should really put more female figures in these lines, not just one per line. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But now, without further ado, since this is a basic figure, I'm just gonna basically rip her out of the packaging. And here is Ruby Riot out of the packaging. And now, let's take a closer look at this really awesome basic figure. And here is her face, with the exception of those little black marks on her face, which is unfortunate. This may be the best likeness to any female in the WWE I've ever seen on a figure, especially on a basic. I mean, if we compare this to her first figure, which was an elite, there's no competition. This definitely beats this. Ruby's hair is long and black, especially on this side, because on this side, it's shaven right here, and you can actually feel that. The rest of her hair here is draped on her shoulder. She's wearing a red top. You can see her tattoo on her chest. She has a sleeve of tattoos on her right arm and the back of her right hand. She has a tattoo here, and her hand and wrist are wrapped in black tape. She has a tattoo here on the side of her stomach. Both hands are fists. She has the Zack Ryder style tights, long here, short there. We can see a plethora of tattoos. There's one right here on her thigh. It says ride in red on this leg. She's got what looks like red studs going around her waist. And she has black boots on. And here's the back of Ruby Riot. Now let's do some comparisons with her first elite. Now the hat and the top there, those were add-on customs. Now the skin tones are actually different. She looks a bit more tan here but more paler here. The tattoos are colored in on the Elite, although the shoulders look different. That one's colored in, which is to be expected because this is a basic. This is an Elite. The one on the back of the hand looks bigger. The arm here looks a bit empty, but it's filled in here. But this one has a tattoo here. This one does not. 
Also, if you look on her stomach, right below her belly button, there's a tattoo there, but it's missing on the basic. This one's colored in. This one's not. This one has more. And this one has less. But there is one thing I could do to totally make this Ruby Riot figure more accurate. Take the custom hat, take the custom top, off this one, and put it on this one. So hopefully this will only take me a couple minutes, and the finished results should be awesome. Three hours later. And this looks a hell of a lot better than it did on the other Ruby Riot figure. Especially the hat, because her hair is more flatter this hat fits much better. And the top looks good too. I tried putting that vest on this figure. It really won't fit well because of the hair. But I like both figures. Although, I think I like this basic one just a tiny bit more than the other one. If this was an Elite, this figure would have been perfect. I just can't wait to get the rest of the Riot Squad. Liv Morgan is coming out any time now as an elite and Sarah Logan but that is it for my review and slight customization of this basic series 98 Ruby Riot figure. Tell me what you guys think and who is your favorite member of the Riot Squad? Is it Ruby? Is it Liv? Is it Sarah? Let me know in the comments below. But until the next review I do, which will be coming up pretty soon, I will see you soon. And I'm going to riot until Ruby Riot returns.